Hey everyone, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. As you can see, that absolutely outstanding, iconic Melbourne stand behind us. We're going to be talking about Rafa's press conference. This is the first of two videos for you today. Uh, yeah, so Rafa's press conference later on. We've got a Brighton fan coming on discussing from their perspective the game on Sunday as well. So Rafa held his press conference around our Hapa Swan along Benton. Uh, if that makes sense, Benton, a long Benton. <laughs> right. Anyway, so he was asked the first question, um, the form of Newcastle, what's changed of it, you know? And he's turned around and said, look, that he's not surprised at all with the form of Newcastle, having saw the lads in training. He's went on to say that, look, he's not thinking about the possibility of going third in the table. The job in hand is the focus is on Brighton. If Newcastle get three points, then fantastic. He wants to keep the form running. Um, a reporter asked him about Tim Krull. We know that Tim Krull could play for Brighton against Newcastle. I don't think it will happen personally, but he's at Brighton. We're playing Brighton and he's just left the club as well. He said that he's thanked Tim Krull. He wishes him all the best, but he knew at the start of pre-season where he stood. So at least, although some people might say that Tim Krull's been um, treated unfairly, but at least he knew where he stood. That's one thing that Rafa will tell you straight, whether you're in or out. Uh, asked about Lascelles again. Jamal Lascelles, obviously his form the last two weeks has been absolutely outstanding, scoring making clearances off the line, organising and so on. So when he was asked about Lascelles, he said that, he said, look, he's a great example if you're not being selected. He works hard and he can prove that you can play after working hard and training. Um, he was all, obviously at the start of the season, uh, he was on the bench against Spurs and it was Flamin Lejeune alongside Kieran Clark at the back and Lascelles was dropped on the bench, whether it was down to form or attitude, who knows, probably he just fancy putting these new signings alongside an experienced head and Kieran Clark. But it, he knows it shows that other players are in the stand, he's mentioned that today, saying that it shows like a player who's been on the bench forced his way back in, albeit probably through injury. But Lascelles has obviously been outstanding in the last couple of weeks. It just goes to show you, players who aren't playing, and in particular, I can't get in the match this squad, in particular, Rolanda Arons is one of them. Just goes to show you, work hard and you'll impress Rafa if you get your chance as well. Now, again, another similarity, we've got uh, Chris Hutton, who we are up against at the Amex. Obviously, he had a great time here at St. James's Park, getting us promoted in that fantastic season with Carol Nolan, you know, and so on. Um, he's praised Chris Hutton. Um, he's also said that the staff at Newcastle still speak very, very highly of him. Uh, he's, he also has a good work and professional relationship with Chris Hutton himself. Now, he's mentioned about the support. Obviously, it's Brighton right down the bottom end of the country there. He's mentioned that, look, he's impressed with all the fans travelling down to Brighton. And then there's a late Sunday kickoff. You know, you're talking like four o'clock. The game will finish about quarter six, ten to six. And for the fans to come all the way back up, you're probably talking probably small hours, midnight, one o'clock in the morning from finishing six. So he has to say, he's mentioned to say, look, we want to reward them. The fans are absolutely fantastic that they're travelling all the way down, fully committed, sold out again. It's absolutely support. The support that Newcastle away fans have got is absolutely fantastic. Uh, we'll be actually at the Burnley away game, by the way, if he's wondering when we're next appearing at an away game. Uh, Carl Darlow is back. We know that Freddie Woodman's been on the bench the last uh, two, three games. Darlow is back after a leg injury. Will he replace Woodman on the bench? It's an interesting one because if he doesn't play Darlow, well, if he doesn't play Starlow, sorry, on the substitutes bench, that would surely indicate that Darlow's back. And if he selects Woodman, you would think that Woodman has now moved up to second position. Uh, Dummett, Hydara are still out for this game for Team News, but he has mentioned, which is a little bit concerning, that Florian Lejeune is having treatment still. So whether he's fit to play, but having treatment still to play for the pain barrier. It's an interesting one, so we'll have to see if he's on the bench on the weekend. So if he's not selected, that'll indicate that the injury is probably a little bit more serious. But injuries, ironically, have probably come if Newcastle do suffer any more at the right time because we've got international break coming up again once more very shortly. So uh, that's the news, a uh, bit of news about the club. Uh, players and ex-managers and so on of the club as well remember we've got the brighton fan coming up as well uh, later on tonight for you as well but i thanks for watching see you later bye bye